what is going on guys so today we've received our weapon crate update from dice this contains the new weapon variants that we've seen being tested on the cte lately so for those who have felt that our last monthly update that was primarily focused on bugs was a bit underwhelming dice has come through here today by delivering a wealth of new weapon content to the battlefield of course with this weapon crate update dice has introduced some uh, new updates in the battlefield that i'll go over briefly at the end of this video but first i want to go through the list of the new weapon variants that are now available on the battlefield the first one we got here is the shogun slug the second one is the Ribioli's 1918 Optical. Then we got the Machine Pistol Experimental. Then the M1917 Patrol Carbine. The Type 38 Arasaka Patrol. The Kakarno M91 Patrol Carbine. The Ross MK3 Infantry. The M1917 Enfield Silenced. And then the one weapon out of all these that you have to uh, complete through a mission requirement is the Annihilator. This of course you're going to have to unlock by getting 100 kills with your primary weapon as your um, assault class. And then as a secondary weapon you have to get 25 kills. So you do have to do a mission assignment to unlock this specific weapon. But for all the other weapons here, they're already going to show up available for you in your Battlefield game. Alongside the new weapons, DICE has introduced two new melee weapons to the Battlefield. The first being the Welsh Blade melee weapon. This, just like the other weapons, is already available for you to equip onto your soldier. But the second melee weapon, the Sickle melee weapon, is only available by doing a mission requirement where you have to get five kills in one game with the welsh blade melee weapon so there's only two service assignments for two of the weapons that are out there the sickle melee weapon and the thompson annihilator uh, but all the other weapons that i have showed you guys here is already readily available for you to equip onto your soldier now with this new weapon crate update, DICE has introduced the new sniper rifle sweet spot communication which will blur anything outside the sweet spot area when scoped with your sniper rifle. To activate this you need to go to the start menu, go all the way down to options, then go to video. And then at the very bottom of video you'll see the sniper scope DOF or in other words the depth of field and with this activated you will now see a blurred image for the areas outside of the sweet spot of course if you don't have this activated the sweet spot is still enabled you just won't have any blurred vision uh, from the surrounding areas around the sweet spot this is of course dice's way of trying to communicate better to snipers of that range where the sweet spot is located at to eliminate the blur surrounding the sweet spot areas while you're scoped, you can just hold your breath and by doing this, the blur will dissipate. If this of course does not help you out at all, you can always go back into your settings and go back down to video and switch off the sniper scope DOF. There are only a certain amount of snipers that do have uh, this new feature, so to see the full list, you go to the home. Uh, screen on your battlefield game and go over to the weapons crate update notes and you can see the full list from there in dice's way to balance this feature there will be a rainbow glint that will show up on your scope for the enemy players when they are in that sweet spot range so that is again dice's way to balance this new feature for the enemy players so that they have a better understanding of when they are in the sweet spot area now again, if you want to see the full list, you can check it out at the home menu screen. But to note a few new updates, there is an increased rank to 150 now. And DICE has changed the heavy bombers, high explosive cluster bombs, where they have lengthened the reload time for them. And they have distributed them more evenly in the payload. So that is very interesting how that has been slid into this update. 
but that is a brief review for you guys on what has shown up for us in this weapon crate update no new weapons for the support class or for the medic class however though we have seen some things float around um, about some new weapons that will show up for those classes so considering that dice has kind of thrown this new update early on in this month and it hasn't been formally released as our May update and it's just titled as our weapon crate update. So I won't be surprised if we see new weapons show up for the medic class and the support class coming up here in the near future. But that's it for you guys today. Again, I appreciate you guys being here. I'm Livent and I'll catch you guys again later. Peace.